discretion advised. Hello everyone, welcome back to Couch Co-op. And welcome back to Couch Co-op. Squawk? Yep. Squawk. <laughs> Parrot. Parrot squawk. You know what? Fuck you guys. I want to make my own channel with blackjack and hookers. <laughs> blackjack and hookers. Hell yeah. Forget the blackjack. Just the hookers. All you need. <laughs> no, this one's going to be fun. You can already tell. <laughs> Yes, yes, I get it. You can't do shit. Fucking worthless shaman. I'm glad you get replaced in the second game. Fuck you. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, the snowmen are back. Oh no. Yeah, you're fucking dead. Fuck you guys. Oh, now they're giving us gold feathers. Uh -huh. So now we have to go back to fall and get everything that we've missed. Man. And this level seems kind of convoluted. A little bit. Whoop. Um, I'm going to collect everything on the ground floor first before I start working my way up. Yeah. It's probably a good idea. Never mind, I'm going to the fucking skies. Why? Oh, the snowmen. Gonna kill those fuckers. And fuck you! Uh, what? You move? He dodged. How dare you dodge? He dodged. I have a hundred of these feathers. And he has an invincible body. Oh, what? Fuck you, dude. I got 95 tries. I will kill you. <laughs> if there's one thing you'll know about me is I am a persistent motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> that mumbo house... Not even gonna give you a chance! <laughs> that mumbo house actually looks kind of creepy in the winter. Doesn't it, though? So, I need to go back to the flight pad. I haven't killed all the snowmen yet. How many other? I think there's it, it like three or four. Let's see what Mumbo's doing now. Is he actually gone? He just left, flew south to the runners. Like, fuck this shit. <laughs> yep. Mumbo's on vacation, you hairy fool. That'd be nice just to take a vacation in the winter. That'd be amazing. Just leave. I have a couple of friends who are mo going to Florida tomorrow for vacation. Yeah. Going down there for 10 days. Well, they uh, should have fun. Florida's probably still recovering. Oh, yeah. I told them they picked probably the worst time. Yeah. Hey, I know this place just got smashed by a hurricane, but let's go there. Yeah. I'm sure there's <laughs> plenty to do. We'll bring our swim trunks to those guys. We have to swim to the nearest fast mark. No, you don't. So I have a friend who um, <laughs> who lives in the Dominican Republic, mm -hmm. and she said that they got, I didn't realize this, but they got hit just as bad as Puerto Rico. Really? They got hit by Maria as a Category 5. Ugh. And, um, yeah, they're hurting. The whole country is hurting. Yeah, man. But I never hear any news about it. Like, I don't hear anything south of Puerto Rico. You won't hear anything because they're they're too far south. And it's dumb. Oh, shit. Yes, that's right. Swim under there. I see water takes double air. Yes. Oh, man. So you're going to have to get out and find that little hole and swim out. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to that because I've come a long way. I don't want to die. So you did all that 
just, just to get for the honeycomb. honeycomb. Now you gotta go left when you get out. Okay. Yeah, thank God you remember, because I was like, fuck. And look for that little hole. Come on. Where, where is it? There it is. There it is. Oh, see, that's, that's not too awful, except for it really just gives you just enough time. Yeah. If you make the wrong turn, you're dead. Oh, yeah. All right, now let's climb the rest of this tree. This level's really almost over with. Like, once we go back to fall and and finish that up, I have four feathers that I can play with. <sighs> so, like, we'll see. But, yeah, um, my friend said that another fucking um, snowman. she's lucky that her house is still standing, but the roof has ripped off. Oh, so no. every time it rains, the house floods again. And she is complaining about not having enough drinking water. And I suggested maybe going to the... Sh like, if things get too bad, maybe trying to make her way toward the shelters. Or the public aid stations or whatnot. Mm -hmm. And she said that wouldn't do any good because her grandparents were at a shelter and they don't get anything. Really? Are they just out? Or has there been no aid? There's aid. There's just not... Enough, probably. And they're just out of everything. Man. So, yeah. The Dominican Republic is pretty smashed up, she said. 90% of the country is just gone. Yeah, I heard... Well, whenever they were predicting Maria being a Category 5, they basically were saying all those small islands will be wiped off the map. Yeah. Damn near, at least. Yep. I do know... I think it was... Puerto Rico, or someone Puerto Rico that got is, hit with is both with um, Irma or, and Irma uh, and fuck Maria. Oh, you cheeky bastard! Ah, oh, you can't hit you when I'm this close, can you? Yeah, uh, Puerto Rico got hit with both the hurricanes, and I feel so bad for them because I have a buddy <coughs> that I play games with, um, ugh, who lives in Puerto Rico, and he was just like, guys, um. So, just in case you're wondering if I'm not online for, like, ever, we have no power. The entire yeah. country is out power. Yep. Yep, the entire country is out of power. Um, I'm pretty sure the Dominican Republic isn't much better. She is... My friend is with her best friend. I hate those guys. At her house. And they have buckets and stuff scattered around to collect rainwater for, like, bathing and flushing the toilet and stuff. Mm -hmm. But again, they have no drinking water. So, oh, that it sucks. just sucks. I told her in a pinch she could probably drink the rainwater. It's not the best, but it yeah, it's something. Warm. Yeah. And if she has the means, she could boil it to make it even better for drinking. Well, shit. They're even they're even finding sharks. Like, well, they were finding sharks in uh, the flooded streets of like when Harvey hit and shit. Really. Yeah, like I was seeing pictures of like just sharks in the water. <laughs> Sharknado. All right, so that extra honeycomb is gonna help out a lot when we face Gruntilda. Is it? Because I do remember she, at least whenever I played it back like in the day, mm -hmm. she was really hard. Oh yeah. But then again, she's probably not as hard now. Plus, you've had several years to get better. That is true. <laughs> Okay, so there's only a few... I know what all jigsaws are left. We get one from the eagle. Mm -hmm. uh, whenever we go back to fall and get the rest of the acorns, he gives us one. That is two, which puts us at a grand total of eight for this world. Then when we get the Jinjo, that's nine. And then there's another one. So I recently found out, I don't know if it's true, but there is a disease where you sleep. Really? Like, you fall asleep, and you just keep sleeping. You're not in a coma, you're just literally asleep. And, um, what it, from what I understand, the signal that your brain tells you, that your brain sends to wake you up, their their brain doesn't send that signal. Really? So they go to sleep and they just sleep. Like apparently they wake up for a few hours to like bathe and eat and do all that stuff. 
but they're not technically conscious. And they wake up just randomly. Like, they'll wake up, but it could be a couple days or a couple months later. Whoa. And then whenever they go back to sleep again, they'd go back to sleep for an undetermined length of time. That sounds really scary. And then, um, I think they usually outgrow it. Like, the, that problem usually kind of goes away. There's no treatment or nothing. It just goes away after a little while. Mm -hmm. But you have to think it that condition persists for years. And that would throw people off so bad. <coughs> yeah, like the friends that they've made, like, they go to sleep, they wake up, and it's six months later. Fuck. And then by that time, so much can change on you. Yeah. Where is the blue ginger? I bet you the blue ginger was in the finished house. Mm. Bet you that's where he's at. Possibly. He's living in a nice comfy house and he's still just like, rescue me. Yeah, rescue me, rescue me. Well, you find out that uh, in the second game, um, there's actually a whole Jinjo village. Oh, really? And the entire village gets stolen. You gotta go uh, fucking save the whole village. And there's like a billion of those little bastards. So like, I like it because it just kind of shows that like they just don't fly away and just no longer exist. Yeah. But still, it's just like... Still a pain in the ass. Do you know how much, how many drafts you're letting into that squirrel's house? Oh yeah, fuck this guy. <laughs> no matter how heavy blankets, how many heavy blankets he has, he's gonna be so cold. I'm okay with that. That squirrel's a bastard anyway. He has a lot of fat. He has a lot of insulation. Exactly. He fucking gorged himself before winter, so like, you know. It's it's fine. This is fine. This is this is totally fine. <laughs> ice, ice, ice. Oh, that reminds me. So, do you watch JonTron? No. He did a Vanilla Ice, uh, re a, a review of the Vanilla Ice movie. Okay. Vanilla Ice has a fucking movie. Wow. And it's bad. I bet. It's really fucking bad. <laughs> so he reviewed the movie. It's oh, really bad. He reviewed the movie and it's just... It screams like 90s. Yeah. And... There's just so many references that only he gets and like... He wrote the whole script. Really? Yeah, it's just, it's so fucking bad. Sometime, I'll have to show you that video because John Tron is so damn good. He is really good. He just did a video about Flex Seal. The Flex Seal commercial. Really? And it's fucking so good. <laughs> I bet. It's so fucking good. Honestly, I think he did so well for himself after he left Game Grumps. Like, so well for himself. I still need to show you that, um, the pilot with the in infinity train. Yes, you do. We, we can watch that, uh, after we get done recording. If you want. Okay, so now I need to go back to... I'm gonna, I'm gonna get hit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fall and take damage. Well, you didn't die. True. Now I need to go back to fall. And finish up and... F Wait, no, where the fuck's the blue jit? It's in the water. Probably. Did you... You didn't, You never made it inside that house, though. It, I couldn't get in it. Well, it wouldn't let me in. It was boarded up. Oh, really? Yeah. I wouldn't go underneath the water. No, I... Because I, you have just enough time to make it to the beaver hole, and then... Once you leave the beaver hole, and you decide to take a different route, you're probably not going to make it out. Yeah, that's true. Because so, like you said, they give you just enough time. So then where could that blue Jinjo be? Because he has a jigsaw piece. Yeah. And if we can get that jigsaw piece from him, if we die, we can easily go to Gruntilda. Well, let's find out. I'll look at it real quick. Found him. No, never mind. Thanks, though.
All right, so we go back to full, <coughs> and let's finish this. Ah, I can walk on this now. Ha 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 ha. I really want to get to the boss tonight. Like, um, yeah, that'd it, be really nice. It shouldn't take me too awful much longer. Like, maybe another 20 minutes, and we'll be done with Click Clockwood. Yeah. Well, we got five minutes left. So. Challenge accepted. <laughs> Beat the game in five minutes. Go. Doing it! Speed run everything. Yep. Dude, speaking of speedrunners, have you seen um, some of those speed runs of... Uh, 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 it's a great game, by the way. A 10 out of 10. I recommend uh, it. Have you ever seen the speed run <laughs> game of... Rock, bro? <laughs> it, um... Of uh, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Mm, I think I've seen certain clips here and there. There's apparently a way, like, the very first boss room, like, the very first boss room, you, uh... Oh, yeah, because, um... It's like... Ganon's castle is mapped on the other side of this locked door. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I knew that much. And people, like, take the deco stick, or whatever it is... And make it like the Master Sword. Yeah, and they make it like the Master Sword, and then they just keep it out, and they just, like, infinitely hit him, and he dies. Yep. Yeah, like I said, I know enough about it. Um, the game doesn't know what to do because you're supposed to be an adult by the time you're there, but you're a kid. So, like, Link's head is always detached and, like, up <laughs> in the cutscenes. I love it. Um, and then, speak uh, on Legend of Zelda, have you seen, um, those fan-made videos where they, like, remake it, but in, like, Unreal Engine 4? Yeah, I've seen certain ones, yeah. It's so I saw one good. where um, he's uh, walking around the Temple of Time. Like, that was the only part of the level that was yeah. done. But yeah, you're right, that looks so good. And it just sucks, because, like, fans can make stuff like that. Why can't developers? Well, look at the latest Sonic game. That wasn't made by Sonic Team. Yeah, that's true, Sonic Mania. Can you believe that game's already a month old? Dang. It's so fucking good. Oh, I fucking it love looks that so game. Good. It looks really good. Yeah. So the house is done now. Yeah. It's just boarded up during winter. Yeah. Okay. Okay, here's a here's a yellow feather. Just conveniently placed on the smallest leaf. Yep. All right, let's get this. Not that. And then I have to make a leap of faith and potentially not die so I can get to that flight pad so I can get these stupid acorns. Oh, yeah. Actually, I might not need the flight pad. I just have to jump. Because fuck me, right? Oh! Oh! Well, okay. No flight pad needed. I'll take that. I will take it. John, you're just like, everything has to be complicated. Now there's one more acorn left. Where the hell is it? And on top of that, I there was a there was a couple of those plants that I needed to jump into so I can get the the notes, yeah. Yeah. Well, let's see here. I'm sure they're coming up. Uh -huh. Ooh, nice save. You know what would be awesome? What? Is if we somehow managed to get enough sh to get enough stuff to be able to get like the double life. That would be awesome. What all do you need for that? You need, enough, you need enough, you need enough, you just need enough jigsaws and notes, because like, it's actually, because it's, it's a puzzle, it, for one it takes a certain number of notes to get through the door, Yeah. but then it's a puzzle that you have to put together to, to unlock them. Oh. You know something I wouldn't mind doing? Huh. Um, and I got, I was inspired by Greg at his house, is, um, 
putting together certain puzzles and then framing them. Yeah, my parents were really big into that for a while. Like, the reason why I don't do it is because my it apartment is concrete. putting a puzzle together. No, my apartment is concrete. Yeah, so it makes hanging stuff a pain in the ass. Yep. Alright, well, next time on Couch Co-op. See you later.